Hey guys, Respiration36 here, and today I have a little tutorial for you guys on how to make simple letter logos like these. And uh, before I actually start, I want to go ahead and say that the reason I didn't post uh, yesterday or Saturday is because I was actually in Gatlinburg. So I will be posting a lot this week because it is spring break for me. So I will make up for that that way. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into this little tutorial. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is make a new image. So control N. And I usually do mine 800 by 800. You're going to want it square so you can really do whatever size. But make sure it's big enough to where it's not all blurry when you zoom in. <coughs> Next thing I usually do is make a new layer. And I usually paint it black and work with white uh, writing. You can uh, do white background with black writing or any colors really, but this is what I usually do because I think it just looks a lot better. And the next thing, you're going to want to pick your letters. Now, I don't really have anybody I'm making this for right now, so I'm just going to pick two random letters, N and K, because why not? I don't know what I just did. I think I just moved around my text and stuff. I don't know. But I'm going to choose N and K, so I'm going to go to the next layer and write that out in white. Alright, now is pretty much the easiest part. You're going to pick which font you want. Now, I usually have a few fonts that I have downloaded that look pretty nice, so I'm going to leave the link to these in the description. But Techno Hideo, I usually work a lot with, as you can tell from my other ones. I think I have like two of these. I think I might use this because that looks pretty good. I can work with that. But then you can also work with Roman Vibes. You can work with uh, Y and Dermo. Really any font you want that you think looks good that you can um, combine easily, you can go ahead and use. But I think I'm going to be using uh, Techno Hideo because it looks the simplest to use. So now what you're going to want to do is uh, go to the first layer, do the first letter, second layer, second layer, and if you have any more letters, of course, make a new layer for each letter. And you'll see that's pretty important because um, you're going to want to be able to edit each letter individually. Next thing, you're going to want to start overlapping the letters. If you really don't want to overlap, you can just get them like close to each other, but make sure they're level with like the tops and bottoms. For this one, I think I'm going to put the K over the N right here, so it kind of looks like that. So now I'm going to zoom in, make sure that I'm all lined up like that. That looks pretty good. And then I'll press escape. And now if we uh, unhide the N here, or unhide the K, we can see that there's a line right here from the N. So what we could do is we could go to the K layer and delete the white around that area so that we can um, see the line if you really want to do that uh, I might just leave it because it's kinda getting into this area right here okay, let's what I usually do if I have like a little overlapping line I can paint the line <clears throat> and delete any extra so it's straight cut and I think that looks good so we're gonna leave it like that once you have that you can go ahead and converge all the letters and delete any extra black or lines that you don't want so I didn't want that black in there and then you can go to effects object align and center it now let's do that again delete everything and do it one more time because sometimes there's little stray pixels that you don't delete um, and then it doesn't center. So now it's really up to you whether you want to put a box around it, leave it blank, or put a little circle. I think I'll do the circle because it looks cool, but the box is pretty self explanatory and leaving it blank is just leaving it blank. So, what you're going to do for the circle, you can go here and draw a circle in white and then center it and then paint inside of it or what you can do is go to effects uh, render crap, and then scroll to the polygon slash stars and make sure that 
the, the circle that you make is the color uh, opposite of the background and you're gonna see why that's important in a second and then also once you do the circle you're gonna need to change the color of the text but you'll see that in a second so let's go ahead choose our color here effects render polygon slash stars and make a circle up the line with just a bit so we can see it easier and uh, make it around the letters all right next thing just switch the colors of your letters so control shift I and move it to the very top of everything and then inside of the circle just paint it white and that's all you really have to do now if you want to step it up even more than that make it look a little bit better go ahead and go to render polygon slash stars and then up the size just a bit and down the line width I think that just looks a lot better um, because there's like a little space in between there and uh, yeah that's really all you have to do simple letter logo uh, really easy and the end product I think looks a lot better than most other logos so if you enjoyed this go ahead leave a like comment and definitely subscribe uh, we've been getting a lot of subscribers lately and I really appreciate it and um, yeah that's been it and hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time peace